Hey guys, welcome to this very special edition of the Fast Lane Car because last night Andre and I just got back from SEMA and the FCA folks did something sneaky. They dropped not one, not two, but three pictures of the new JL 2018 Wrangler. Yep. And these are the official pictures. These aren't the spy pictures. So Andre, let's go through each picture and kind of point out the nitty gritty details that we figured out and all the stuff that we know about the new and upcoming Wrangler. So why don't you start? Yeah, the Sahara model is a luxury model of the Wrangler, and they showed the four-door, yep. which is the only model that the Sahara comes in. The unlimited. The unlimited four-door, and uh, it came in this granite, you know, gray color, and the first obvious thing is are the headlights, the grille, and the little turn signals on the fenders. It used to be in the side of the fender, and now they've put them into the front of the fender, and if you look at the picture overall, it doesn't look that different from the current Wrangler, does it? Yeah, if you're just a common guy who are not following the industry or are not a Jeep fan, this Jeep looks about the same as before, but we've noticed a lot of different changes. Yeah, I mean, if you saw the two coming down the road, you'd probably have a hard time telling them apart, but let's talk about the little details. So let's talk about the grill. Um, we uh, went to this year's Easter Jeep Safari, and they actually kind of had that grill on the current uh, concepts that they brought out right. and what you'll find is that the lights are actually integrated into the grill if you take a closer look so uh, the grill kind of pokes its way around the lights and it's uh, reminiscent of previous uh, CJ Jeeps yeah CJ5 and also the grill is a little tilted back a little bit yeah and the other thing is the front bumper especially on the Sahara and the Rubicon, has been refined a little bit, but looks similar. Yeah, it looks like a, kind of a refined version of the Hard Rock bumper. Now it's been more incorporated. It, it looks more holistically designed into the front of the Jeep as opposed to something that was kind of added on to make it look like a special edition Jeep. Now the hood latches. Yeah. So two years ago, we went across the country in the previous Jeep Wrangler, and when you're going on a high, high speed on the interstate, the hood starts to vibrate. Yeah, it starts to come up because yeah. the latches are the only thing that's holding it down and they're a little rubber uh kind of yeah, yeah. rubber grommets yeah so they redesigned it so i'm hoping the hood will not come up again yeah it freaks you out when you do that i think any any speed above like 60 miles an hour it starts to come up a little bit and of course there are new side steps that are shown in this picture as well yeah. uh, whether those are incorporated into every model we don't know but they're certainly in the sahara and jeep also did something else interesting they unveiled mopar jeep performance accessories for the next JL, you know, including brakes, suspension, roof racks, floor mats. You know, they're, they're bringing out their accessories before the Jeep is actually yeah, available. Yeah, Jeep Performance Parts is, of course, uh, Mopar's latest ability or try to get the cat to get out of the bag, right? Because there's a lot of companies that are doing all kinds of aftermarket stuff for Jeep. And uh, FCA figured out that they're leaving a lot of money on the table. So, so they're doing it themselves and doing it early. Yeah, they want you guys to go to the dealership and upgrade your Jeep and not do it yourself or take it to an aftermarket company. Uh, let's talk about the engines. Now, this we don't know. This, this is leaked information. So what are the engine choices on the next 2018 Wrangler, Andre? So we figured out that uh, the Jeep JL is going to open up with the 3.6 liter v6 yep so same one that's in the current jeep yeah but it's probably going to be a little bit more refined um, fuel economy is still very important to jeep so they're coming out with the v6 first the 3.6 liter we don't know the final power specifications on this and then a little bit later the two liter turbo which is really interesting for an off-roader, right? A turbocharged engine. And obviously what the hardcore Jeep guys and gals want to know is, will there be a diesel? And we don't know. We suspect there might be a diesel, but nothing's been set in stone. So here we're speculating. We're not talking about the pictures. So let's go back to the next picture that they showed, which was a Rubicon, a red yep. Rubicon. Uh, and they actually showed two pictures. Let's start with the side profile of the Jeep. And first, you'll notice immediately that the roll cage is now body colored. Yeah, it really makes it stand out. It does. The other thing you really notice is the front wind the windshield is down. Yeah. It's on the hood. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, contrary to popular belief, the yes. windshield will be foldable. Now, in the current model, it takes literally about two hours <laughs> to fold the windshield. Yes. And once you fold it, putting it back up is also... Problematic. A, yeah, a laborious process. Uh, and uh, we've got some friends who've done that. Uh, they said that once you fold it back up, it doesn't leak, but it's not easy. So we'll see how easily foldable it is in the new model. But the good news is that it's foldable. And I expect they had to do that is because it's part of the Jeep DNA. Now, what are some of the other changes, Andre? What, what else have you noticed in the picture? Yeah, a lot of different details, including there's side vents behind the front fenders. Yep, it's pretty so cool. In, in 
new Fender event. And then in the top-down image, you could see the redesigned hood and actually uh, uh, redesigned vents inside the hood. Yeah, it looks like the power hood of the old uh, Hard Rock. Yeah, Except but it's been redesigned. It's been redesigned, yeah. And you also notice from the side image that it's got square rear taillights that are very similar or very reminiscent of the Renegade. And we saw those taillights in the spy images that we've seen, actually, uh, the outline in LED. Yeah, and I bet you there'll be a lot of like hidden Easter egg images in those, right? Little Jeep images yes. and all kinds of crazy stuff. But here's the interesting part, the tires, Yeah. right? The KO2's uh, Mud Terrain's BF Goodrich tires are on the Rubicon in yep. the image, yep. instead of the Mud Terrain's. Yeah, and uh, they also look a little bit bigger. Of course, there's a new set of wheels that they're showing. I suspect there'll be at least several different new wheels that they'll be showing, if not more than that. Uh, and are they bigger? They look bigger in the picture, but obviously we don't know if they're actually bigger than the current wheels. The other thing you can see is the handbrake. Yeah, so that's the, good, at least in the Rubicon. Yes, uh -huh. and the transfer case lever. At least in the Rubicon. Uh, yes, and also, you know, the transmission, the leaked information suggests it's going to be an 8-speed across all engines, including the V6 and the turbocharged engine. Yeah, I suspect maybe the Sport model will have a terrain management selector button, but at least in the top-of-the-line Rubicon, there's still what looks like a traditional yeah. transfer case lever, which is great news for all of the uh, Jeep fans out there who love you know, um, going off-road and, and doing it old school. And finally, the door handle. The little button you push on the door handle is gone. Yeah, it's completely missing. So uh, <laughs> that was kind of, it could be problematic, right? Mud could get in there. Uh, you had to get your thumb dirty to <laughs> push it if you right. were out mudding. So now probably it's a pull handle. But once again, we're speculating that the button is gone. Overall, I think the design is much cleaner. I bet you the uh, coefficient of drag is going to be much lower because obviously the current model is like a brick in the wind. Um, do you like it, Andre? Yeah, I do. And the first time I saw the image, I, I said, wait a minute, it looks a lot like the uh, previous JK. But once you spend time looking at the details, it looks more refined. You know, like they just refining a product that's been really successful for them, which it has been. Yeah, and obviously there's been a lot of other leaked information regarding kind of the transfer case, the kind of uh, towing, information. towing information, but we've got other videos talking about that. Today we were just looking at the design of the Jeep. So guys, thank you for joining us for this very special edition of the Fastlane Car. Uh, we've got some exciting news. Uh, in December, right at the beginning, Andre and I are, are going to actually go drive this one. So yeah. That's uh, less than a month from now, a little bit, just a little bit longer than a month from now, we'll be right. driving it. And the Jeep, the JL, is going to be unveiled in Los Angeles um, at the very end of November, after Thanksgiving. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned for more uh, real-world driving reviews and, of course, reveals. Um, and thanks for watching. As always, this is Roman and Andre saying see you guys next time. Ciao.